Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it's time for our uh, November release. And I have a quick card and tag to share with you today. So I'm using uh, the new Build a Christmas Tree die, which is awesome. Christmas is Gnoming. Bah Humbug 3, that nailed it sentiment. I'm using the scalloped oval dies, the stitched oval dies, and card mat dies, and the flag dies. And I'm going to be pulling in some other stuff later uh, when I make my tag. I'm also using the Gnome for the Holiday set from... Um, photo play, the paper pad. Now I've already pre-colored my images with Copics, you can see, and I've cut them out with my brother Scan and Cut. I also use some Spectrum Noir and some um, glossy accents on the lights. So this is a, a piece of cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. It's 4.25 by 11. I'm scoring it at five and a half with my new uh, little scoring pencil from Amazon and my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And uh, there we go. And uh, like I said, this is navy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. I'm not sure what color it is. Now I'm applying my mat that I cut out of uh, that Gnome for the Holidays paper, uh, that card, the card mat dies. And I'm applying it to my card base with some ATG tape. And I'm just going to, you know, get that straight and, you know, apply it to my card base. So this is a really simple card. Again, you know, kind of my style. I try to go simple. Um, one of these days I'm going to have to color again for you live. But, you know, it takes me forever. So now this is a piece of American Crafts cardstock that's textured. And I just chose it because it goes with the yellow. And I didn't want my card to be too busy. Um, it ends up being a little bit busy. But, you know, it's Christmas. So what are you going to do? So there we are. So that is my oval my scalloped oval, and then I'm applying my stitched oval. That pattern paper is also from that pap uh, paper pad from um, Photoplay, the six inch. There we are, and I'm just going to get that centered. So I'm putting that off to the side. So here is my, uh, this is Distress Ink in Pine Needle, and I've cut the um, Build a Christmas Tree die out um, using the same green, green paper from that same pad, uh, that Photoplay um, pad. And I'm just going to ink around the edges just to, you know, give it a little bit of presence. Clean up the, I hate a white edge, you know, on a die cutted image. I just don't like it. So I'm just uh, using my Ranger sponge tool and I'm just applying some ink all around the edges to this uh, card, to this pattern paper. So my white edge doesn't show. Now I cut the tree out of white. That's my just my base image, just so I could have it some have something to stick it down to. And I'm just making um, the edges of that green too, so it doesn't sort of stick out when I'm you know gluing my uh, pieces of evergreen, you know, to this background white piece. Now this is a piece of coordinations cardstock in brown. It's also textured. And I inked the edges with ground espresso. So now I'm going to be applying my layers to my card, my my Christmas tree base, which kind of makes this easy. You're just kind of filling in the blanks. So I go from bottom to top, just because I find that the easiest, you know, because that way it layers correctly. And there we go. I put the little stump on first. I'm using my Gina K Connect glue and, you know, quickly just gluing this down. Like I said, like I've said before, not rocket science, super quick and easy. And uh, what I like about the fact that there's, um, you know, an outline for this uh, tree, you could easily just, you know, build this on your, you know, card base. But what I, what I want to, you know, what I like is that it makes it a little more sturdy. If you want to pop it up, you can. It's not going to be flimsy. Um, I believe I stick this down flat to the card, but, you know, you could pop it up if you wanted to. And I like that. So, you know, I like my um, images to be a little bit thicker if I can. So there we are. Now I'm popping on the top piece. And that's about it for that. So I'm loving this new release. I love this new die. You know, I usually love everything. But there's my nailed it uh, sentiment. I stamped it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and that's um, Paper Tray Ink White Cardstock. And I use my the flag die to cut it out. And I'm just applying that to the bottom of the oval. And that's kind of going to be my sentiment and also kind of the snow layer for the tree to sit on, if you know what I mean, that's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna trim off the edge once I make sure it's straight. You know, that's a little bit challenging for me these days. I think I need to get a new pair of cheaters. You know, I'm kind of, I notice that it's not, they're not as effective for when I'm crafting. So there we go. And I've got like the ot light. <laughs> I'm lit up in here, so there's no excuses. So there we are. So I'm using my um, Gina K Connect glue again. And this is just so I can wiggle it around and make sure it's in the center. 
and, you know, planting it on that white snow flag die cut. And there we go. So super easy. Now I cut out all the layers for my uh, for the snow that also comes with this die using the um, it's a bleh, it's American Crafts white cardstock and it's textured it's a little bit thicker which is nice and I'm going to be popping those layers up just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'm using my Stampin' Up dimensionals I'll do some trimming of them here and you know using the small ones and the normal sized ones and as I've said before I have no nails so bear with me it takes me forever to peel off these things. I'm also using my EK Success uh, reverse tweezers to, you know, get my fingers out of the way because I'm a bit of a, I'm kind of all thumbs. And there we go. So I'm going to pop up the star. The star is also cut with out of that yellow cardstock from um, American Crafts. And it's kind of like a mustard. And I just found that it went the nicest with the yellow in the pattern paper. I like to pull my colors from the um, pattern, you know, the pattern paper that I'm using. It just makes it the easiest for me when I'm matching stuff up. So there we go. Now, all of my Copic marker colors will be listed on my blog. Um, you know, for those of you that would like to color them, you know, color the same way, um, they'll all be listed there for you. So you can do that. And there we go. So I'm just applying my snow layers. And these are so super sweet. Like, I just think this tree is, is just adorable. And, you know, I can see people using it, using, using it for, you know, a lot of different things. You know, cards, tags, little scenes. It'll be, it'll be fun. So there we are. So I'm still doing a little bit of trimming of my Stampin' Up! Dimensionals here. Um, adding, you know, adding layers to that, uh, you know, so the snow kind of pops up and gives a little bit of dimension, which is fun. There we go. And uh, trying to get things straight. I told you before, it's a little difficult. There we go. So, I'm like I said before, I'm loving this new release. Um, you know, it, it's got a lot of cute little images to color. You know, it's got um, some stencils that are fun. You know, lots of stuff to make some Christmas cards, which is, you know, if you're like me, you make a lot of Christmas cards. So, it'll add to your little stash. Now, I am loving... This little image too like how cute is he so now I'm going to pop my gnome up um, I know I don't know if I mentioned it before but I'll say it again um, I used the, the spectrum noir clear sparkle pen to add a little shimmer to the bell and to the lights and then I applied uh, glossy accents over top and it traps the sparkle on, underneath and it makes it really I don't know it gives it a little bit a little bit of dimension and it kind of makes the lights pop which I like so um, I have one of those little bottles that I have my glue, um, my glossy accents in. It kind of has like a little pin top on it. And, uh, you know, it's got a really fine applicator. So it's easy to apply like tiny little bits of glossy accents. Um, you know, so that's fun. So there we go. And it does. And when you've just got a little bit of glossy accents, it di dries really fast. So that's, that's the good news about that. So there we are. So I peeled off all my backing. Now I'm going to line this up. Now I got to figure out, it's like, oh, I got to remove a little piece of that. Um, dimensional because it's you know warring with the other dimensional that I got on there so there we go so how cute is that so now I'm going to move on to my tag I'm using the Christmas is gnoming again and the buffalo plaid stencil so I've got the buffalo plaid stencil down on uh, Simon says stamp um, mm, I can't remember what color red this is uh, but it's red from Simon says stamp on my Wendy Vecchi make art station and I'm using uh, black soot and a blender brush, like a Distress Ink um, black soot and a blender brush to apply my ink. And I'm just going over this stencil and I'm, you know, not being super careful. I just want to get good coverage because basically I'm making pattern paper. So there we go. And you got to love the Wendy Art Make Art Station for this because it's a uh, Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station because, you know, it just makes things easy. So there we go. So now I've cut that pattern out using the stitched scallops or the scalloped oval dies and I cut one in white and one in red so you can write on the back of this tag which is kind of what you want to do when you're uh, you know putting a tag on a present right like put a name on it or something so there we are so I'm just lining it up I kind of tried to center my buffalo plaid too when I cut it out with that scalloped oval which is super easy now that is a piece of vellum from cutcardstock.com and it's really thin vellum I'll have it listed on my blog um, and I'm using ATG tape to attach it to the center now that will be covered up with my image because you know you can see it obviously right 
Um, but you know what? It, it'll stick it down really well. Now that is a, an oldie but goodie. Um, and I can't remember what the heck it's called, but I'm going to be punching a hole in my, um, is it a cropper hopper? No. Mm, can't remember. Anyways, I just popped a hole in this uh, tag so I can feed some ribbon through. Now this ribbon is, I believe, celebrated ribbon from Michael's. And it's, you know, I think I got it a few years ago. It's, it's a ho, ho, ho ribbon, which is fun. And I've also got some bells. Now these bells are all from Michael's also, so I'm not sure if they're celebrated or recollections or whatever, but there we go. And I'm going to uh, grab some twine, and I believe that twine's from um, close to my heart. So um, so I threaded through that uh, ho-ho-ho ribbon, and now I'm going to be um, putting bells on this piece of twine. I'm just going to feed them through the back, and then I'm going to tie them onto um, my ribbon. I'm using my reverse tweezers here in a second um, to hold on to my, um, you know, hold on to the ribbon and like make it nice and tight so I can tie that knot. And as you can see, I'm all thumbs. Whenever I'm tying a bow, it's it's a nightmare. I always use my bow easy, but for this, I kind of uh, couldn't, you know, because I'm trying to tie bells onto something. So you'll see how I have kind of fart around here. Because like I said, I'm terrible tying bows, just terrible. So there we are. I'm just gonna trim off these, um, these ribbon tails there. And uh, there we go. So I've got, I'm trying to tie this bow again. See, I'm, I'm telling you the struggle's real. So there we are. So we got a bow on there and then I look at it and that's like meh. I should have three bells. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna grab another piece of ribbon and I th thread on even a smaller bell. And I'm just going to tie that on the back. And of course, this involves me making another bow, which is just crazy, you know. So anyway, so here I am. I've just got another bow going. It's like, yikes. I really just should have knotted it and trimmed it off. But, you know, this is, that's hindsight, right? So there we are. So now I have my um, little tag getting assembled here, making sure my bells are kind of all straight in the front. Like I said, farting around. I left this in the video to show you. It just takes me forever. And this is sped up. So you can imagine if I left this at normal speed, I think the video was like 25 minutes long and that was kind of like stop starting. Okay, so here is my image and I'm gonna be popping my image up again using Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And uh, you'll see to the left there, I've got the, the sentiment stamped from the same stamp set that Christmas is gnoming. And I cut it out with the, with a scalloped um, circle die. And the nice thing is that they have empty centers, so you can line them up over a sentiment, which makes it kind of kind of easy. And there we go. I'm just going to be applying that to my tag. And how cute is that? I'll pop, slip another little Stampin' Up dimensional in there to make sure everything's all you know equal and and as high and all that jazz. So there we go. So I liked how that turned out, it's super cute. Now I'm gonna add some Nouveau Crystal Drops to both, of course, in Simply White. And you know, I try it out here. And I'm gonna apply it to the vellum actually because I don't think the Distress ink is dry yet and it will actually leach color into the drop if you're not careful. So just keep, keep you know, realize that when you're applying Crystal Drops. If your ink is not dry and it's not like permanent ink, it might, you know, the Nouveau Crystal Drops might just pull some color from your um, ink. And, you know, I don't mind it too much, but just be aware of it. So now I'm just adding white little dots to the, uh, the snowflake background uh, in the center of the snowflakes and to the actual white little dots. I don't want to add, a, you know, I don't really want to make it more busy, but a little bit of texture is nice, right? So there we go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to head over to the blog and see all the other um, beautiful designs that the design team have come up for you to, you know, today. And uh, hopefully you can come back and check out what we got going on tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.